Alright, this poem is called uh, Till. I plucked many of the weeds out that I thought needed to be weeded out. But I found out that the seeds I have sown need a bit of something more to grow out, to become what they can become eventually. I have nurtured and encouraged these buds to fill out, to blossom, to bask in the sunlight, only to discover a shadow cast over them by another weed creeping into the present, one I had cast out before, which darkens the future. But when I return to the sunlight, I'm reminded that all substantial growth occurs underground, where seeds grow roots and become the bedrock upon which all outward signs of flourishing depend, not something one seemingly notices outright. And when I see this situation in that new light, I realize I have no reason not to be encouraged that I'm not yet seeing growth on the surface because I can feel it within taking root, about to make its presence felt above and throughout. It only needs, it is only a very subtle shift in state I need, a very subtle difference that makes a difference that pushes me over the threshold where my intention takes over and creates for me all that I want to manifest and makes what's best for me and everyone around me. Punxsutawney, which is uh, where that groundhog comes in. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> uh, throughout the barren winter, I stared vacantly through the cloudy bus window at life and other passers-by. Always a dim, vague image of myself reflected back at me, holding my existence captive. Unwilling to face both inner and outer world, to see through the pain framing my existence, I cast a bitter fog, heaving my breath onto the cold interface between the two, obscuring the image projected, the one looking back into me. Then I rode over it, allowing my fingertips to wander aimlessly across the hazy portal until they numbed. As I withdrew my brush, the warmth spread back into my extremities, feeling returned, and I began to develop images with much greater clarity and perspective, self-consciousness melding into the background while I lost myself in the joy of creation. The new self-portrait was completed on fe fe ah, February 1st. The following day, a shadow was not seen. The window retained the frost only a bit longer. The wintry gas didn't adhere to the surface anymore. When spring dawned, I opened up the window to let the breeze in. I breathed in the life-giving air and expanded my palate to encompass the rainbow while I eyeing the lavish canvas outside the window awaiting my touch. Thank you, everybody.